Hello guys, in the last video we have seen how to perform API call with the help of HTTP package and provider. So in this video I am going to cover one question asked in my video. So it would be nice if you would add the search bar. So although I have replied with my previous video where I have added a search bar in Firebase Cloud Operations. So this time I am going to perform the same thing with the help of this provider packet so we will update this app and add the search bar into this in order to search data based on the entered information so let's go here and we need one more variable let's say search pets so this would be also of pets type and we will just keep it like this initially it would be empty so what we have to do whenever user will type something so for that we just need to add one text field over here in this body part so let's wrap this list view into the column widget so that i can add one more widget over here that would be my text field so this text field would have some let's say decoration that is input decoration and inside this decoration we need hint that would be let's say search and what else we need we can add some border as well so out line input border and we can just say border radius border radius dot let's go with this circular and give it let's say 10 radius that's fine so save this so once you save this you are getting some error over here so here this uh, view need to be restricted so we don't have any length of this view so what we can do we can just expand our builder list view with widget that is expanded expand it so save this just reload this okay so we got a search bar let me add little padding so that it should look nice so, and what else we need so if you want you can just add more decoration let's say go here and we would add one suffix icon that would be icon and icon start search and let's add const save this so it would look better okay so here we need to get this data so whenever user will type something you need to get data so in order to fetch that data entered by user we need to use one property here that is on changed so this is gonna accept one function so let's do what use this one and here you will be getting whatever value entered by the user so this value i need to search with that pets do we have that particular let's say username for this example we have used username i think for title we have used username so we will search based on the username so let's go here and now here we need to define the functionality so for that we just move to the logic part that is our provider and here let's create one function so that would be search which gonna accept one username okay fine so this will do what what to do is let's go here and simply create a provider we can just copy it from here you can either create a new one or you can keep the same reference so let's keep it context and listen false and we just use provider dot search and you need to pass this username that is value okay so that's fine so let's go back here and here what we need to do so we need to do some repetitive work so in order to avoid it what i do i just do create one string here 
that is let's say search text so initially the search text is empty so what i do i just create one more function over here that would be used and that is update data so let's go back and check what we are doing here so we are just keeping the data okay so this would be called once and all done okay fine so we just go here and simply check if the search text dot is empty if nothing is searched by user then we simply need to do searched pets dot uh, data dot add and we can say add all and we can add these pets over here is it okay uh, so we need to add pets dot data so because data is a list of elements okay so if user has searched nothing so we can simply display data from original pets that is this one which is called once okay otherwise if user has searched something then you can do what you can simply say filter on this values we can say simply pets dot data dot so you can use a where this gonna filter the values so where so this element gonna give you one data part out of this so we can say what where the element dot username so here you can just convert it into lowercase so that we don't search for case specific now here uh, you can either use starts with or you can use contains so contains gonna search from any of the word for example if i write e so this line contain e this erwin contain e this clementine contains e so all that contains e would be coming over there so it's better to use that starts with for example if i starts with e so it should show only this e portion uh, this one second one not all that contains e so for that we just need to use starts with and here you have to use your search text and once you have searched everything simply just convert it into list so once it is converted into list we can add this list into your searched pets so search pets dot add so we have multiple so let's use dot data dot add all because this data is a list and done so once this is done you need to do what you just need to notify the listeners so let's use notify listeners and we can just copy this and come here so once user gonna type something we will get it over here and we will update it into this such text is equal to whatever username and once it is done we just need to do what this update data okay so this will update data and according to that search text or not search so it will update the data so just save this portion go back here and see if we are missing anything so let's go to home page and here what we need to do so here we have this list view so what we can do we can uh, just instead of using this pet data we can simply say pets not pets we will say so we need to get data here so we are getting it from this pets so we don't need it anymore and we just use this provider and we can say provider dot searched pets dot data so we just go here and replace all these things and fine so just save this and reload it so we have one error let me check it so here we are just 
removing this save this so let's quickly reload this okay so let's go back to this body and cross check this is the provider and we are doing search value that's fine and then with this provider we are doing this okay 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 so so what we are missing we just need to just cut this list view and we can just cover it with the consumer so that we can use it so let's use consumer here and for this builder we can just pass this function and pass this and done. so now here instead of using this where it is this value we can use okay So here actually we need to define pets provider because this is gonna give us provider reference. So with this pets we can simply use like this. Okay, so this was just one mistake. So go here and instead of using this provider we can use this pets which is giving us to the reference of this provider or you can simply say my or you can say pets provider just for understanding just updating it updating and all done so let's try to restart it and cross check so are we missing something inside the provider so first time it is loading this so go here the update data oh. so we are doing this that's okay and we are missing one thing here so it might be adding it again and again let's just clear this such text dot data dot clear and so if nothing is searched just add the original data otherwise based on your search you can add data into this that's fine that's okay 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 so i think everything is fine so we are missing one thing here so here we need to just update the data because we are not updating this data so let's use this update data over here and we don't need this notify listener as it is already used over here under this update data okay so that's all i think let's restart it and it should work what's the problem here unused import okay so let's delete this line and meanwhile you can see your data is loaded and your data is loaded let's try to search with something let's say e and if i go for d you got add d if i go back back and if i go for l we have only one so do we have something else let's see for c so we have three let's use l then we would have two then we need to write it if you want to close check it so let's go for e and e and e i and a so for a we got this for e we got this so that's all this is how we can use the search bar so that is all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe thank you